Hello everyone, I'm Mateusz and I work at Spock as Subject Matter Expert of Service Portal. I created over 30 completely new service portals and made adjustments on much more. And there is always one thing that created some challenges, content management and its architecture. Going back to Prima Deal release, when you could only have one knowledge base and one service catalog, companies were forced to create new content space dedicated to the specific portal and they were very limited. After some time, you could have more than one service portal, service catalog or, or knowledge base, but still you were limited to the service now architecture and it was all connected with the backstage. Luckily for us, service now introduced a new product called Employee Center. What are the benefits of the Employee Center? Content is not limited to the knowledge bases of service or service catalogs. You have now a new table called Taxonomy, which lets you group your items, articles and services into the topics defined by you. So if your company has already some structure, you can easily copy and build that on the employee center. As I mentioned at the beginning, due to the limitations, in often cases our clients had to build several service portals and they had to maintain them all. If you are in that position, Employee Center can easily help you with combining portals and users into one web application. Each topic that is part of your taxonomy can also be personalized and adjusted based on the topic brand or needs. There are many out-of-the-box components that can help you with the adjustments of the topic page, icons, banners, and the whole content presentation. In addition to the main functionalities, ServiceNow added several components that can help you with finding relevant items or services for your colleagues. Besides the standard search and taxonomy itself, we have such components as popular topics, which are shown on the homepage based on what is the popular right now in the company. Recommended for you section, based on the user's behavior, this component such as items or services that were submitted together with one item that the edges requested, similar to the old pages like Amazon or eBay. It will definitely help you with the content management and once you gather all colleagues in one application, you can easily promote company news, resources and ongoing campaigns. Employee Center helps with setting up relevant and personalized content based on the user's role, location, or the job type. To sum it up, here's a quick overview of all components available for all customers. Besides the features that I mentioned, we can notice here's also Quick Links widget, which can help you with setting up connections to different systems used across the whole company. All of those functionalities will help you capture all information, content, tools in one place. As for now, ServiceNow has not stopped su supporting previous version of the default service portal. But right now, there are many focus on improving all functionalities related to the employee center. We might decide this, that this will become default service portal in near future, which can lead to the retiring of some of the older components released before current product. Nevertheless, some of the functionalities like the AI search, guided tours, or virtual agents will remain fully operational. Employee Center has also been approved as a responsible web application working on all kinds of devices. If you have troubles managing multiple portals or you haven't created a service portal due to the limitations, maybe it's a good time to consider use of the Employee Center. So this is the default homepage of the Employee Center standard version. As you may notice, we now have two different types of menu. First one is the standard menu that you might be familiar from default service portal. Here we can have links, we can see the guided tours and we have profile menu. To set up links now on the employee center, we need to go to the different place. First, we are opening the standard definition of the service portal. Go to the main menu. And here, instead of putting your items directly in the menu items, you need to go to the second sub menu called more. As you can see, I have now here link to the incident list. And going back to the home page, you can see that this link is available here. So I, when I click it, I am sent to the incident list. It is working exactly the same as default portal. About the second menu, it is not directly connected to the menu items, but it is connected to the taxonomy table. In the taxonomy table, we can configure our own categories to set up the catalog items, articles, and quick links into the structure that you already have. So now I will go to the taxonomy. How to find it? 
you need to go to the definition of the service portal and scroll down to the related list. You will find that there is by default prepared taxonomy by service now called employee. If I open, you can see that there are more categories that are visible as service portals. It is to the due to the fact that some of the categories might be empty or might have items that are not available for me. What it means, it means that it is accepting all user criteria assigned to the knowledge articles and catalog items. So you don't need to worry that they will become visible in the taxonomy structure. It is to the fact that not all of categories have any content assigned to the specific categories. They might be also articles or items that I don't have access to. What it means, it means that it is accepting all user criteria assigned to the service catalog items and knowledge articles. So you don't need to worry that they will appear in the taxonomy structure. Now I would like to add one of the items to a different category underneath the IT topic. So if I go to the topic category, I, you will notice that there are already some child topics that, that are probably empty. If I go to the hardware, you will notice that there are already different child topics. It means that taxonomy accepts not only one level structure, but it is accepting three level structures. Now we will add some item to the phones and mobility. How to do it? You need to go to the connected content related list and click on new. For now, there are three different content types available in the employee center. Catalog item, quick link and knowledge article. For now, we'll add catalog item. Since it is phones, let's select I Apple iPhone 5 and let's see how it looks on the employee center. I will refresh the page or impression the joy employee. As you can see, we already have two different categories and we have also subcategory called fonts and mobility. If I go to the, the, this topic, you will notice that I, there, there is already added content item. Another functionality that is available on the employee center is the favorites I items. As you notice, I have booked Apple iPhone as my favorite. It is a little bit different than bookmarking in the standard browser. Whenever there is new article available on service portal, this My Favorites section will update all of these favorites based on the current version. Bookmark articles might not be available for you. So we recommend to use this um, My Favorites section, which is not available on the default service portal. Moving to the Employee Center Pro version. As you can see, we have now different banners. As you can see, we have now different components available here. We have banners which we can set up ongoing campaigns news or some alerts we have also components that i mentioned in the first part called popular topics quick links recommended for your sections or videos in this example i would like to show how we can set up new banners for our employees i will go back to my account and go back to the backstage To set up portal content like banners, icons on some topic pages, you need to go to the uh, content publishing portal application. Here again, we just need to click on new and service now will hint us what we need to provide to our banner. Starting with the title. And in the content we can use already pre-built components or we can even use our custom HTML. We can provide also some image background to our banner, but for now I will leave it empty. There are some options to reference or to select fields from reference table. So for example, if you'd like to have personalized banner and display username, we can use this table as user. Now we can reference to any of field from the user table. The other option that is available out of the box on the banners is the buttons. 
you don't need to develop custom buttons. You can use options provided by ServiceNow. You just need to pr type in text and where this button should link to. So let's link it to the documentation of the Employee Center. We can use pre-built link of the documentation of ServiceNow. And I will just finish the documentation and I can save it. Now this banner is available to use on every employee center, but we need to connect it with the specific, which is the default one. To do that, we need to create schedule content. And I know that the default page of the employee center is EC Pro Dashboard, and there is only one widget instance there. What is also available on employee center, you can cast, you can select which audience should be able to see um, specific banner. Not ba not all banners must be visible to all users. You can, for example, display message only to some specific group of people. For now, I will select it all active users to see how it does look on the default portal. So now I will go back to the employee center. I will refresh the page. As you can see, we have new banner. We have my username, which is admin in that case, and we have button, which will redirect me to the uh, documentation of ServiceNow. As you can see, Employee Center offers a lot of ways to display personalized content. You can have your own categories divided into specific group of people. You can have different banners, and you can have different components based on the user's role, location, or job type. All of that helps you to bring all of the users and tools into one web application. Thanks for watching this Employee Center overview. If you had any question, we are available for you.